This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. The Kingdom of East Anglia saw the birth of their greatest son, an Anglo-Saxon warrior destined to be a champion for the ages and a national treasure for all time. Everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Today we are going to be taking a look at the very little expansion box for Dungeon Alliance Champions. Now, um, this this game here actually, I I knew nothing about it, but I was out in St. Louis and they had it at Miniature Market, and I had a copy before anybody else, which was really cool because it sold out like in five seconds. This game. Well, it is really, really good. Does the expansion add anything? Does it do anything different? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's go down to the table. So here we have the uh, expansion for Dungeon Alliance, which is a great game. And, I, you know, like I said, I talked about it at some point ago. Um, and as you can see, it's a pretty small box. Uh, but is what in there really worth it? And let's take a look. Well, you're going to be getting this room, okay? And this is going to be the final boss room. And uh, it's going to be after you play everything through, and I'll show you exactly what else comes in here. Uh, you, there's different cards in there that we're going to show you in a bit, and here are the counters for the new enemies that are going to be in there. And you have these steers, okay? So, you know, it kind of, yeah, exactly like that. And you're going to be going down into this room, either on this side or on this side. Uh, you've got some new enemies here. Um, you're going to have a Titan boss here, which is going to give you fits, and uh, this guy here, and uh, four new heroes. And you do get a ton of heroes in the original box, and they added four more. With this comes a bunch of uh, uh, cards, and uh, let's take a look at some of these heroes before we go too much further. We have an archer, we have... Um, we uh, have another hero <laughs> and another different type of hero. This is an orc hero, believe it or not. And then we, I, I, I believe this is a dwarf. So um, these cards are represented here, which I'll show you. As you can see, tallow. And then we have, um, oh, who is this? Caldrake. And our other hero here, Sonia. Might help if I put my glasses on, right? And of course, uh, Bartholomew, Bartholomew, who is our our dwarf there. They're going to come with um, some some cards, of course, that are going to um, that you're going to enhance their playing hands with. But the real thing that you're going to get is you're going to get the deep dungeon final enemy room. And you're going to play this when you go into this room, of course. And there's a whole bunch of different stuff that can happen. You can have an ogre rampage. You run into a st uh, stone guardian, uh, a goblin ambush, undead marsh, grease traps, uh, all kinds of, well, nothing really good. Titan guardian, that's the guy you don't want to run into. And uh, some traps. Now, as I was saying before, here are the cards that you're going to have for Bartholomew and all the other heroes. And uh, they are going to, as you can see, they have a symbol which tells you which one works. You know, your battle tactics, your maneuvers, your actions, and uh, um, some of your spells and stuff like this, everything that works here, there's new cards for that. Now, <clears throat> uh, the deck of many treasures. Now, th this is kind of neat because in here, there's good stuff and there's bad stuff. And we've added mimics, gas traps, which are always fun, spear traps, and then we have some good treasures, uh, staff of rest restoration, wand of lightning, potion of speed, which is always helpful, potion of invisibility, which would probably be very uh, good to just to get the heck out of that dungeon room, and a rod of opening. And then finally, we have the cards for the Titan himself. 
And uh, these are all the things that this nasty, nasty dude is going to do. And he is going to do it with some authority. Thundercloud, that, that looks nasty. And Elite Guardian. Um, the Titan is just filthy. His stats are ridiculous. I mean, look at that. <sighs> yeah, good luck with that, folks. And then, of course, uh, we have the second side here with all the wonderful things that go on with the big fella here. So, um, not a ton in this expansion, but enough to breathe some life into this game. Let's go up top and get my final thoughts. Well, like I said, there's not a ton in here, but the funny thing about it is when I first opened it, um, you know, I, I, I was really excited to get my hands on this, and, and, and the reason being is I remember that when I first got the original game, uh, that I ran back to the hotel after, after I did all the work I had to do up in Miniature Market, and I went through and played this thing uh, pretty much into the wee hours of the morning and thought it was just fantastic. Couldn't wait to get home, paint it, show you guys, and actually I taped it in the, the hotel room, to be honest with you. This coming out, I was excited for um, because I knew what was what was going on. And when I opened it up, because I hadn't played the game in, uh, oh God, at least a year and a half, I forgot everything about the rules and everything. Well, the, there's, there's no rules for the add-on here. And I, I was a bit confused by that because, you know, here it adds a final dungeon room. How does it work? How does it go? How does it, how does it do things? And... Um, and I was confused by that. And uh, I opened everything else. Of course, you get one one new tile. Uh, you get those stairs. Uh, the the new the new champions, they're all right. I mean, but there were just so many that came with the original game. I don't think you needed champions as much as you needed more enemies. Now, did you get more enemies? Yeah, you got a few. And then you got that Titan boss and and that 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 dog thing or whatever the heck it is. You know, you know that you're going to have to deal with. I just want to, I think almost this was put out to go, hey, don't forget, this game's out there. And let's I'll give you a couple of things to, to bring it back to the table to remind you that it's there. And um, I would have liked to seen a bigger expansion with more stuff, uh, more villains and things like that. A lot more villains. But all in all, I was quite happy to add more stuff. And the best thing about this is it's all going to fit in the original box. So it's not another box taking up space here, which is fine by me also. Uh, I think this is good. It's solid. It's cheap. It, 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 it's not an expan. You know, sometimes you run into these expansions and they're 30 bucks for a little box like this. No, it's very affordable and it does add to your gameplay, which is which is everything you could do. It's such a good game, though. You almost wanted it you know like an entire box full of more stuff because this guy is just such such a genius and and did such a fantastic uh job on the game so i prove i think it's great it makes your game even better made me pull my game out that's for doggone sure and uh we'll be venturing this for sure uh four more minis to paint yay <laughs> But I'll deal with it. At least I don't have to paint a ton of enemies. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon. It's the end of the game, and you could get this from Miniature Market, right, Grandpa? <laughs> you could get this from Miniature Market. That's right. Yeah, everything you need. Bye.